uh, we are meeting with Brian. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> well, I'm, a lo I'm a Singaporean photographer that I do uh, commercial editorial and uh, editorial, everything, okay. yeah, interiors, exteriors. Um, yeah, and so I'm a photographer based in Singapore. So, looks like we I, we can have a look at an uh, actual photo shoot today. Yeah, it is an actual photo shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. May not be as exciting, but let's try and make it as fun as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Brian is a commercial and editorial photographer based in Singapore. Previously worked as photojournalist in Singapore and the US. His work have appeared in Time, Newsweek, The Washington Post, and Elle. Even a permanent collection of the National Museum of Singapore. Today, Brian took me for a short tour of theaters on the bay and to one of his actual photo shoots. What you use to get those work? Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, mentioned earlier, I do a lot of different kinds of shoots. So today's loadout is probably, I guess you would say, the architecture loadout, uh, the interior kind of stuff. So, because there's so many things, so many different kinds of shoots, right? If commercial will be completely different. Yeah. If you're doing so, for today's loadout, we uh, basically use the A7R Mark II uh, for the body, and uh, the go-to lens was actually the Voigt Lenner 10 mm, which is uh, an amazing lens when you're shooting interiors. Mm -hmm. Because it's got pretty straight lines. I mean, the lines are. If you keep the camera straight, your lines are going to be perfectly straight. Um, and also for interiors, we use the Canon tilt shift a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. It's the first Canon lens I bought because I used to be a Nikon user. Ah, oh, I see. And uh, Nikon doesn't have a 17 mm. So when I started doing interiors, uh, this was the one to go with. So we use that pair up with a metal bond, mm -hmm. and that just works out. Um, I've also got the Sony A9 that I'm testing around now and playing with it. Um, so, today's shoot was supposed to have been some interactions of people in the spaces, uh -huh. but because of the weather, we mm. can't really, don't really have a chance to go out. But I was going to take the A9 out for spin and see how it captured that kind of a thing. Um, and then, generally, I would carry the the seven, uh, thirty-five to seven. Uh, sorry, the seventeen to thirty-five and the twenty-four mm. to seventy. I'm very excited of the new 60, 16 to thirty-five. Um, and I'm looking forward to having a 2.8 lens in that category, it kind of mm. rounds it off. Uh, but the G Master 24 to 70 as well, it's a great lens yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for day to day stuff. So, for the portion that I was going to go and shoot, capture spaces, people, interactions, almost in the street photography style, it would have been real, those two lenses. Yeah. With the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70. And I've actually also, since Sony passed it, I brought this out, but no chance to try it. But it's the, the what, 100 to 400? Do you have a chance to play this? Right? Yeah, this is the new one. So it's quite a monster of a thing though. But for, for 100 to 400, yeah. that, that's not exactly no? huge. No. You haven't played with it. I mean, I haven't used one of these for a long time. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit different. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I will let you know how it works after I try it out. But <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the 24 to 70 uh, the GM, the ah. G Master. It's a bit big, master. but it's actually it's a beautiful lens. It really renders the. It really renders. Uh, it, I feel it's much better than the f4. I also carry a lume cube sometimes, mm. uh, just in case I need to throw a little bit of light here and there. Um, and of course, with Sony's. Oh, sorry. This is a Samsung Gear Three Sixty. Oh, the new one. Yeah. So you never know when you'll need something like that. So just small. I throw it in the bag. Um, I use the I think, I think it looks like a baby monitor. <laughs> yeah, it <does. laughs> It's a weird looking thing. I decided to try this because I have the Ricoh Theta S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that doesn't do video very well, but the no. stills are decent. Mm -hmm. And this one is supposed to do stills better. So, it's not, they're pretty cheap these mm -hmm. days anyway, so I'll just let it try one. It's weird though, this thing kind of looks it strange, right? Look toyish. It does look twice, but it feels pretty solid. I mean, so. And then, of course, with the other stuff, with the Sony's, you always need to carry a lens cleaner, a sensor cleaner, and a, a dust, sensor cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, because so it get dust quite easily. Yeah, and the thing is, without the mirror. Yeah. I love the, the sensor, I love the dynamic range, but every once in a while, if you get that spot. Mm. For me, doing stills is still not so bad. For you, if you use video, yeah, yeah. and you have that spot there the whole time. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, this is my messy loadout for today. Uh, oh, and a tripod for interiors. And then this is this is new as well. Yeah, so this yeah. is a... So, but the funny thing is, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I was at Photokina last year, hmm. and we saw this. They just, it was a prototype, it wasn't out yet. 
and um, what this was it's a hybrid gear head so you set the ball head first to find to get where you want to go you tighten the ball head and then you use the gears to fine-tune uh, your yeah, angles yeah, yeah, yeah. which is actually pretty amazing um, before this, I used the cube which was really really good but it's very big and it's heavy mm -hmm. so this one actually cuts it down and Arcosys also made this quick release plate that is great because you don't have to unscrew and screw on anymore so it's just a matter of turning and taking it out you can pop this in the bag so it doesn't get dinged yeah so yeah so this one one is the x-axis and one's the y-axis it makes it easier because this one you get it to around where you need to go with the ball head and then you just fine tune using the yeah the yeah, 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 yeah yeah oh the ball head is upside down yes i see and you get the full benefits of the of the the gears with uh, a little faster you know it's a little faster to deploy mm. it's lighter it's much lighter than the others yeah so the crazy thing about tripods is these are expensive and people are like what would you pay one thousand more dollars for <laughs> if it makes it work easier and yeah. it cuts down your shooting time then it's money well spent and this is definitely proven mm -hmm. that. So and then like like these is that just doable people people use gizzo tripod for like 30 years yeah so the bad thing about the gizzo tripod is that it doesn't die <laughs> and yeah. even and if you want to buy a new one, like and you, feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel yeah. bad, and right? Then, and then when, oh, they really something really cool, but mine's still working. Yeah, exactly. So that's <laughs> when we run into the problem. So I finally got the new one. The old yeah. one lasted me for quite a long time uh, as well. Yeah. So. Spring loaded. Right oh, it's like that. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> of course, before that, all, all those gigs, so you have to like put it up set the right angle and then push it down something like that and then if after that you close it you still have to push it back down now it's just one action push it up and then come back down to your angle to the angle that you want wow <laughs> it's time to visit the shop man so like i said for this is a bigger kit to bring out with yeah if i'm just doing a street photography or editorial work editorial work will just be like a you know, 1735, 24 to 70, mm. 7200, and two bodies. It really depends what I'm shooting. So, this bag always has different loadouts. So, every time I go back home, depending on what the next day's shoot is, you know, you have to read. So, you kind, of, you kind of got the whole set for. Yeah. From, from my angle much. to Tally, Zoom to Prime. Yeah, I guess for me, it's like. Two shift. Yeah, two shift. So, yeah, so that's basically it. It's all the rubbish that I carry with me. <laughs>